Hi all, today I'm going to show you how to do, um, how to create a set of images from a folder of images that are a different size and shape using actions and batch processing. Okay, so I have um, a set of square images and I need to create a set of these images that are portrait and they're going to be 800 by 1200 pixels in size. So what we're going to do is open the first one and we're going to do an action. So an action, um, if you look over in the panel over here, um, it's the little play button. What does it look like when it's over here? It says the word actions. If you can't see this in your panel, go to window and actions. All right. And then to create a new action, what we want to do is go up to the little lines with the triangle next to it and new action. And I'm going to name this one 800 by 1200 because that's the size and shape that we are creating with this action. And we're going to click record. So each of these steps that I record, I can then apply that to an entire folder full of images, which is great because it'll just do it all for you. If they're massive files, it might take a little while. And if there's lots of them, you can just walk away, have a cup of coffee, come back and they'll be done. If, it, if they're small size files or there's not a lot of them, it will go really quickly through them and you'll be done in a few seconds. So this is great for when you don't want to open each individual one, reshape, resize and save. All right. So I'm recording over here. So the first thing I want to do is change my image size. Okay. So I'm going to change it to, I know that I need to make it 800 wide and 1200 high. So what I'm going to do is keep this at 800 by 800, and then I'm going to add some height to get the 1200. Um, so don't worry about anything else over here at the moment. This is, um, you want to be changing, if it's pixels that you're wanting to change the size of, do it up here in your pixel dimensions rather than document size, okay? Um, and we're just going to press OK. So that's made it nice and small. Now we're going to change the canvas size. Okay, so canvas size, and I want to change, instead of centimetres, I want to be doing pixels, and I want to change the height to 1200. Okay, so um, I can also choose where the original um, content of the image needs to sit. So I want it to be in the middle, but say if I wanted the, the top to sit at the bottom section of my 1200, I can choose bottom, or if I wanted to choose the top so that the image sits at the top, I can do that. Um, and then obviously, if you're making an image wider, you can um, choose it to sit at the right hand side, the left, the bottom left, that kind of thing. I hope that makes sense. Uh, let's just choose OK, and you can see that I now have my 800 by 1200 image. So, all right, I'm going to press stop, and there is my action created. Uh, so now I'm just going to close this one and I'm just going to say don't save because this was just to create my action. Um, so if you haven't already done so, I want you to create a folder within um, your folder of images um, named at, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm naming it 800 by 1200 because uh, that's what they are going to be. And um, this is just so that you have somewhere to save them all too. All right, so let's run the batch. So we're going to go to File, Automate, Batch. Okay, so usually it will come up with the action already, like the last one you created already here. If it's not there, just have a little look through and find it. Okay, so now we have to choose the folder of images that we want to run a batch of, run the action on. So I'm going to choose... And it is this folder here that is my high res. All right. And I'm going to pick my destination folder. You can actually choose um, save and close, which will save over the top of your existing images. I don't recommend doing that if um, you're, you're new to this, uh, just because you might do something wrong within your actions and then you bug it up all your original files. So... It's always good to just do it into a new separate folder, um, especially because if you're doing this type, you know, we're saving it for web from high res version. So we don't want to override those. All right. So here is my destination folder that I want to put it into and I'm going to press OK. 
Um, don't worry too much about all of these ones, all these little boxes and everything. I'm just showing you the basics. So press OK and it's going to run the action for me. Alrighty. There we go. It's just opening. I'm not doing anything with my hands. If you had loads, you could go off and have a coffee at this stage. Or if they were really big images, they might take a little bit longer. If they're small images, sometimes you it can do you know, 100 images in 60 seconds for you. So it, it, this is a great way to save time. All right, so let's go and have a look, see how they turned out. There we go, there are my images. But I need to save these for web res for the client. So at the moment, um, they are still 240 uh, DPI, which is more of a print resolution. So anything that's sort of above 200, usually 300 DPI for print res. For web res though, we want to do 72 dpi. Okay, so what I want to do then is create a new folder within here. Actually, no, it'll create its own folder. Scratch that. <laughs> All right, so I just want to do a script on these ones. So this is going to change them all to web res. So file, scripts, image processor. All right, so we want to select the folder that we are going to do it to, so which is desktop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm in the, uh, I am in the wrong PC. I don't want to be a network. Sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. So this is the folder that I'm wanting to create another new folder within. You don't have to create a new folder. It will just automatically create one. And because I'm choosing save in some same location, but it's going to create a new folder for you. So this will not save over the top of the originals. All right. So I want to save them all as JPEG. Quality 12, or you can drop that if you like to maybe 10, but I'm going to keep it at 12, keep them nice and crisp. I'm also going to tick Convert Profile to sRGB, which is um, screen colors instead of CMYK, which is print colors. Um, and then I could uh, choose resize to fit, but I already know that I've already changed them to 800 by 1200, so we don't actually need to do that one. So we're just going to run that. And it is doing it for us. And if I go over here, you can see it's created a new folder in here. Alrighty, and it's all done. So in here, I now have JPEGs that are 800 by 1200 pixels, ready to be renamed with SEO rich keywords before being uploaded to a website. Thanks guys, bye.